Hey guys, welcome back to Wixfix. I hope you're having a fantastic day. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to create the perfect homepage. I wanna create a small mini series where I go over different types of pages and I show you what content you should be displaying on that page. Now with this mini series, I'm not really gonna focus on the header, the footer, or the overall design. I am mostly just gonna be covering the content that you should display on those pages. And for today, we're really just gonna be focusing on the homepage. So let's go ahead and get started. So when you think of a homepage, if you go to any ordinary website, the first thing you're gonna see is a very large section called a hero section. Typically in this hero section, it has a big heading text that talks about what they do. It might have a subheading text underneath it to kind of give an explanation of the main header. And then you might have a button, which is a call to action button. A call to action button is basically trying to call your users to take an action. So let's go ahead and build out the hero section. The first thing I want to do is click on this hero section or this section right here. And we need to make this really large. So I'm gonna go ahead and set this to 100 VH. Now nothing's really gonna change here until I add another section. So let's just do that. But you're gonna see that this one is now quite large. The next thing I want to do is just go ahead and add an image. We'll stretch it to the full width of the screen. Now you can have a background image similar to this, or you can have some kind of cool graphic or something like that over here to the left, or you can even have it over here to the right. It's whatever you decide. But again, I'm not really gonna be focusing on the design that much, but if you look at a lot of different home pages, they might have a big image in the background or they'll have a graphic over here to the left or right. But for this example, let's just go ahead and stretch the image. We're also gonna change the image. Once we have one selected, I'm just gonna go ahead and go into the settings and add just a little parallax to give it that nice effect. I know I said I'm not really gonna focus on design, but personally, I just like adding those small little touches. And I'm also going to lower the image opacity. So I raised up the background color opacity to 100, and I'm gonna lower the image opacity to 70. I did this because now I want to go ahead and add some text. And we're also gonna make this text white. And now the white text is gonna show up more because if I choose the background and have this all the way up, in certain areas, this white text might not be visible. So just to be safe, we're gonna go ahead and set the background image to 70%. I'm also gonna make this headline text, this big header text, 50 pixels instead of 28. And we can go ahead and make this like, the hero heading text. And for the line spacing, I went ahead and turned off auto spacing and turned it down to 1.2 instead of 1.4. Now with homepage content, it is very important to tell your users what you do. It's also kind of important not to talk about yourself. You don't wanna say, we do this, we do that, we do this. What you wanna say is, are you having trouble with this? We can solve it. Something along those lines and not so much about me, me, me. It's gonna be more about you, you, you and solving your problems. So let's say our heading text describes the solution you provide. And then let's say we want to have a subtext which is gonna be a lot smaller, but it's gonna kind of add more information to our header. Of course, we wanna make sure that we set this to white and turn off the strike through. So we didn't mean to turn that on, okay? And then also we just need a call to action button. Then I'm gonna grab all three of these and press stack, make sure that they are centered horizontally, just like that. So now that is our hero section. It's, it's a little basic, but again, I'm not really gonna to focus too much on the design. There are several things that I would probably change about it, but right now we're just mostly focusing on the content that you should be putting and I think this is really good. Another very popular thing to put on your homepage is kind of some success stories or success numbers, if you will. If you look at the latest template that I released and we scroll down a little bit, you're gonna see that right here. We have a bunch of big numbers talking about experience, offices, skilled people, stuff like that. This is a section that's very popular on a lot of homepage nowadays and it adds legitimacy to your website. 
So let's go ahead and do something like that on this website. So for this, I'm just gonna go ahead and make this about 800 pixels high for now to give us some more space to work with. I'm also just going to apply a two by one grid. Over here on the left, I'm gonna add an image. I'm not gonna stretch this one out, but I am gonna make it kind of a little bit wider and a little bit taller, something like that. And we're gonna change the image. And over here to the right, we wanna add some text. This one's gonna be quite big. Let's go ahead and set this to 50 pixels. And you can say something like, we're number one at dot, dot, dot. We'll go ahead and bring this over here to the left a little bit. Let's go ahead and copy and paste it. We'll bring it down. And let's go ahead and set this first one to 100 million, something kind of crazy high number. Then we'll go ahead and add a paragraph text right underneath it. And this one's gonna be meetings per year. And then we'll just go ahead and copy both of these down. And we'll just make another row. For this one, let's say 50,000. And for this text, let's say happy clients. And let's do it one more time because it's good to have things in threes. So we'll do, this one will be over 100. And let's go ahead and copy this text, bring it underneath. And we'll say partner integrations, something like that. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and select all of these items. We're gonna press stack. And let's go ahead and set this image height to be similar to that section right there to our stack. And let's go ahead and add 100 pixels of margin on top and the bottom. Then we're gonna grab the section and remove the height. We also need to go into adjust grid for the background image or background section. And we need to set this minimum height to minimum content. There we go. And then the next thing you probably want to show on your website is maybe a list or a breakdown of your services. So let's go ahead and add a new section. We're gonna go ahead and make this one quite large again for now. Then what we're gonna go ahead and do is I want to apply a grid, which we're just gonna do three by one for this one. And I'm also gonna go ahead and add 10% padding on both the left and the right. Great, now let's go ahead and add a repeater. We're gonna go ahead and stretch this to the full width of the screen or the section. However, you can see it's not in the third column. So what we can do is come down to the bottom in the toolbar and we can set the column from one to three to one to four, just like that. Then what we can do is come in to change layouts and we're gonna do grid cells. Now when we press manage items and we duplicate them, you're gonna see that all of this content is staying in between the grid cells and it's evenly spaced just like how we want. Now for this one, I'm just gonna go ahead and remove the background of the repeater. Let's go ahead and add just a very basic icon. Okay, let's just add this icon right here, make it a little bit bigger. Then we're gonna come over here to quick add. Let's just add a quick title, something like that. And then let's go ahead and add a paragraph. Then let's just go ahead and grab everything and just try to eyeball and center it up just like that. And then let's go ahead and adjust the grid. And instead of 800 pixels, let's do something like 250 pixels. And we'll also set the minimum height to none. And let's just grab these items and bring them down just a little bit, just like that. And I think that looks really clean. Now the next thing we should probably do is we can see that there is a lot of information right here. And to add another section of just information can kind of seem a little overwhelming to your users, at least on desktop. So the next thing I want to do is just add a blank section and we're just gonna have this one be an image. Okay, so that will provide us with a little bit of a divider between a lot of content and some more content. So now that that section is complete, we can go ahead and add another section. So underneath that, let's add another blank section. For this one, we're actually gonna make the background color a little bit darker. 
And let's go ahead and make this a little bit bigger, just like we have been before. The next thing I want to do is just add a title to the page. This one's going to be maybe something like our clients. So what we're trying to do now is we've kind of outlined what we do. We've outlined some of our more impressive numbers and we've outlined our services. But now if people keep scrolling down our website, they're going to want some proof that you are who you are or that you've actually do great things. So what we're going to do is just go ahead and come over here. Let's just add a repeater to make this simpler. Just go ahead and make this quite small. Let's set the repeater to 70% width and let's go and manage items and do, let's do four per row. So actually we need to come to change layout and do four per row. Now, if we go to manage items, let's just go ahead and add like six more. Okay. If we go to change layouts and scroll down a little bit, we can center up the leftover wrapped items. Then let's just go ahead and add like a little graphic, like a, just a little shape. And this would kind of take the place of like a logo, I guess. So let's just say that these are logos. So that kind of gives your users a little bit of proof that you are who you say you are. But let's say you haven't worked with anybody really impressive yet. Uh, so what would you do now? Well, instead, maybe you could have a section for reviews or testimonials. So let's go ahead and do that real quick. Let's go ahead and add a blank section. Just like before, let's go ahead and set this to 800 pixels. I'm just gonna go ahead and copy this text right here, paste it down here. And this one's gonna be called reviews. The next thing I want to do is just go ahead and go get a quotation mark. So I'm just gonna search in the basic shapes. I'm just gonna search for quote. I'm gonna pull this out onto our page. Put it right here. Let's actually change the color of it to something, to the slight color. And we'll lower the opacity just a little bit. Great, now let's go ahead and add another title. And for this example, I'm just gonna paste in some lorem ipsum as the testimonial. But we're also gonna make this quite large. And then we're also going to make this about 60%, just like that. We'll make sure that this quotation mark is over here to the left of it, just like that. Now let's go ahead and add an image. We're gonna change the image to a profile picture of somebody, which if you go to Unsplash and search up profile, they typically have a few good options here. So we're just gonna change it to this one right here. We kind of want this to be a complete square. So let's just do 450 by 450. Then we can switch it back over to the fluid mode. Next, let's go ahead and round the corners. So I'm just gonna put in a thousand for the radius and I'm gonna shrink it down quite a bit. And we're gonna attach it right to the left of the review. Then we're gonna add one more text component here. And for this one, it's gonna be the reviewer's name, comma, the company and we're just gonna put it right next to his picture, just like that. A very simple testimonial section. The last thing that you are probably gonna need on your page after your user has checked it out, your website, they see you're legit, the last thing that you're gonna to wanna to do is add a call to action section. It's gonna be very similar to the call to action up here, but it's gonna be at the bottom after they've already reviewed all the information. So let's go ahead and press add a new section. Once again, I just wanna add an image to the background. And just like we did before, I'm gonna add a background color and I'm gonna lower the image opacity to 70. And to save us a little bit of time, I'm just gonna come up here to the top, grab this stack, and I'm gonna copy it and paste it right into this section. Just like that. I'm gonna go ahead and delete the subtext and if we come over to the layout section in the toolbar, we can actually align the items to the center. Then align the stack to the center of this section. And this text right here should be like... And now if we preview the page, we're gonna have a nice hero section that kind of describes the business with a little more information to back it up. And if people have already know that your site is legit, they can immediately press 
this call to action button to get started. But if they are new and they wanna check if you're legit, they can scroll down to read a little bit more information about how many projects or how many happy clients you have or whatever. Then you can, they can keep scrolling down to see the list of your services and more details about them. They'll also get to see your clients that you have helped in the past and reviews from your previous clients. And then last but not least, and arguably one of the most important to have on your website is another call to action so that if they go through all of this information and they think, wow, I'd actually like to learn more, then they can press get started to either schedule a consultation with you or to just book your service. Now, some of you might be saying this is a business website and maybe I have a restaurant or I have something that's not in the same industry as this website that I just built out. Well, for the most part, everything should still be the same. If you're a restaurant, here you probably wanna have a, some pictures of your some of your most famous dishes. And you can have right here an order now button, or you can drive them to a page that has all of your locations on there. Instead of talking about your business, maybe you can say hundreds of five-star reviews, rated top best restaurant in the you know LA area or something like that. Since you don't have services, this could just be a repeater with some of your most famous dishes or even categories of your dishes. So maybe lunch, dinner, breakfast, or whatever. Now, if you are a restaurant, you might not need this client section. However, you could have a gallery from your Instagram feed, or you can just have a gallery of a bunch of pictures from people visiting your restaurants. And you could also have reviews. You can use your Yelp reviews, your Google reviews, or you can ask for reviews on your actual website. And then below that, you could have another call to action where people could order your food or whatever. So as you can see, it doesn't really matter what industry you're actually in. The main sections that I covered in this video are definitely something that can be reworked for your own website. But that basically wraps it up for the video today, guys. If you guys did enjoy, please consider giving this video a like and consider subscribing for more Wix content coming out really soon. Thank you all again, and I'll see you all in the next one.